Now on to problem 8-48, the county fair coaster ride. It reads, now that you have more expertise with polynomial equations and their graphs, the Math America Land Carnival Company has hired your team to find the exact equation to represent its roller coaster track. The numbers along the x-axis are in hundreds of feet. At 250 feet from the starting point, the track will be 20 feet below the surface. This gives us the point 2.5 comma negative 0.2. So you'll see the stretch factor, the scale factor. All right, so 250 feet is 2.5 and 20 feet below the surface is negative 20. I apologize, one second. Bambi, you need to go away, okay? I'm trying to do work. Good boy, good boy. All right, so here we go. Letter A says, what degree polynomial represents the portion of the roller coaster represented by the graph at right? Okay, so we need to identify the degree, and this is something that we've been doing. Okay, so to identify the degree, we're just gonna use the roots right now. So we see that it, we've got a single root here. Looks like we have a double root right here. And we have a single root right there. So if you know our single roots count as one and our double root counts as two, we're thinking that right now our degree would end up being four, right? So we're going to say our degree is equal to four. And that seems correct, right? Because look at our end behaviors. We're up, up, right? So we know when it's an even numbered degree, they have to have the same end behaviors. So they're both going up. Now it asks, what are the roots? Okay, well, we already kind of identified where they're at. Now let's just identify what they are. We have x equals zero, x equals two, and that one is a double root, and we have x is equal to three. Letter C says, find an exact equation for the polynomial that will generate the curve of the track. So I'm just going with, the, with an exact equation. Well, we can start out here, uh, and I'm going to use this space above C, right, just because I know we're at the bottom of the paper, and I don't have much space beyond that. So I'm going to just start right up here, okay, with my work for C, so if you're following along. All right, well, we know that if we have our roots, we can turn them into factors. So we'll say Y is going to equal, okay, so if X equals 0 is a single root, we know that X is a factor. If x equals 2, we're going to have an x minus 2, and we're going to square it. And then we're going to have an x minus 3 as a factor, because we have x equals 3. All right, now, let's use that method that we just ended up using in 8-47b. Let's take this, and let's put in an a value. If we want to find the exact equation, we need to be able to figure out what this a value is. All right, so after we have this kind of general form, we need to find a point to use. Okay, so our goal here is figure out, you know, a point to use. Well, if we think back up here to when you were reading it, Okay, it says the numbers along the x-axis are in hundreds of feet. So at 250 feet from the starting point, the track will be 20 feet below the surface. So 2.5, negative 0.2. That should exist here, right? So at 2.5, they said that we'd be down here at negative 0.2. Okay, so since we know that's a point, let's use that point to help us figure out what the stretch factor is. So we're going to use that point 2.5 comma negative 0.2. That's my x, that's my y. So negative 0.2 is equal to a times 2.5 times 2.5 minus 2 squared times 2.5 minus 3. Okay, so now we just need to take it and we need to simplify it down and solve it. Okay, and you can use a calculator on this part if you want to. Um, you know, if we take it and we look at, here we're going to have an A, this would be still 2.5. 2.5 minus 2 is going to be a 0 0.5 squared still, 
And then 2.5 minus 3 is going to be a negative 0 0.5. And if you want to use a calculator to multiply those, you can do that. So you'd say 2.5 times 0 0.5 squared times negative 0 0.5. And you'll see we get negative 0 0.3125. times a, right? And that should equal negative 0 0.2. So we're just going to divide each side by negative 0 0.3125. And that should tell us what our value of a is going to be. So let's see, we'll do that on the calculator. Negative 0 0.2 divided by negative 0 0.3125. And you see we get 0 0.64. So A is equal to 0 0.64. Okay, so what's the exact equation? Our exact equation should be Y equals 0 0.64 times X times the quantity of X minus 2 squared times the quantity of X minus 3. All right, so it says that should generate the you know the curve of our of our track, and you know what, you can check it here so far. Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's go up here and let's just type it in: zero point six four times x times the quantity of x minus two. I think that's squared, and then times the quantity of x minus three. When we hit graph. Does that look like our graph? Let me zoom in here so we can see it a little better. I think that it does, right? That looks like it to me. All right, so I think there is one more little part to this one. Um, it might be on that next page. I think we have 8-48B. Okay, so I actually am going to switch over to the next page. It says, what is the deepest point of the roller coaster tunnel? So I'm going to jump back over. And when we look at this, we want to figure out where is the deepest point. Well, it looks like the deepest point would probably be like down here. We're just estimating it. So as we trace that back up, that looks like our X value is about 0 0.5. Right? At 0 0.5, it should give us our pretty much our deepest point down here. So what we're going to do is we can take it and plug in. 0.5 into that function. So we'll say like f of 0 0.5 should equal our 0 0.64 times, we said x, which will now be 0 0.5, times our 0 0.5 minus 2 squared times our 0 0.5 minus 3. And then all we need to do is take that and plug it in, figure out what that would be. You can probably even use your table on your calculator if you want to, or if you don't have it on there, just go ahead and type it in. 0 0.64 times 0 0.5 times, what is that, 0 0.5 minus 2. We'll just go ahead and just type it in there. We could have do the math on our own if we wanted to. That should be squared. Make sure you don't screw that up like I just did. There we go. And then we have times our 0 0.5 minus 3. Boom, you see negative 1.8. So if it's negative 1.8, what does that mean? Okay, so remember our scale factor, that means we would be negative 1.8 would be like 180 feet below the surface. So the deepest point would be 180 feet below the surface. Okay, so you could say that's probably what, like 50 feet in or 50 feet down the track, it ends up being 180 feet below the surface. All right, so that is the end of problem 8-48.